Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and if you're new, welcome to the family. Today I've got a magical unboxing for you today and it is one of the most magical boxes on the planet. It is Mist and Magic. This box comes all the way from France. So without further ado, let's get into this box. So we've got Mist and Magic here and I'll give you guys a close up of the beautiful stamping on their sticker and if you did not notice this box is the magical shops edition they are not a subscription service they are a one-time purchase box uh eventually i think their goal is to be a subscription box but uh to be honest this box is quite pricey as it is priced in euros which i will link somewhere throughout the video maybe at the end but they are just, I was so excited that this box was originally supposed to come out in March, but unfortunately with the pandemic, everything got shut down and so it got postponed. And now that we're finally here to unbox it, so let me give you guys the first sneak peek. Oh my god, this box is so huge. Ooh, look at that tissue paper. Ooh, my goodness. There it is. There's your sneak peek. This box is humongous and so many goodies. I got it this past weekend, so I'm not opening it here now until Monday, which is usually my filming day. I was just dying. I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to go in and get ready and film this. Just open this box, but I waited because I was quite busy. But we've got the Mist and Magic card right here with all of their information. I really like their card. It's super cute. They've been making magical things since 2015. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. There's so many boxes. I don't know where to start. Okay, we're gonna start with this box. Ooh, Venom Antidote for the most potent and deadly serpent teen beast look at that i love their boxings too it's just so they're so pretty i don't know how to pronounce this but like one that it came in like this oh. so this is what we've got here i don't know how to pronounce this potion serum um but it does not i don't know if that lid is supposed to come off and i don't want to break it but it says on the back here this serum is in gas form. One breath is enough in most cases. Do not exceed three or it can be lethal. Okay, so that is why when you kind of look at it, it's empty because it's gas. That is really cool. They make, their stuff that they make can be in the Harry Potter world. So it's not necessarily 100% specifically known to being Harry Potter, but they make it so that anything that they do make could exist in the Harry Potter world. So I think that is awesome. Oh, if you guys not have not seen their magical beasts or their magical creatures box, I'll link it up in the cards right above, okay? So that you guys can watch that because it's fantastic. Oh my gosh. And if you've also been on my channel for a while, you know when I love things to come in a little bag because I love to reuse these. And it says souvenir shop. That is cute right there. Okay, it's so cute. I'm so excited. Oh, it's gonna be a mug. It's gonna be a mug. I should have known that it was gonna be a mug for being a souvenir shop. And then it's nice and packaged in this recyclable material. I don't even know what this is called, but it's like, it feels like a recyclable cardboard paper, if that's a thing. And then it comes in even more paper. They really did protect this. Ooh, that is pretty. That, oh my gosh, guys. So look at this. What is this on this side? Oh, we so we got some kind of potion shop. We've got an occult shop. Oh, the wand maker shop. Sweets and treats. Then we've got the apothecary, and we've got the creature place where you can buy your owls and stuff. That is a really cool cup. That is, it's very different. I like it. It gives very much um, dying in an alley feel to it. 
which is really cool. I really like that. Okay. Since the last time, one of the last boxes I unboxed, I threw away a piece of paper that had a bookmark in it. So now I'm double checking. Ooh, this feels like a book. Oh, it's multiple books. All right, so this first, oh, it's a notepad. Look at that. So you've got like your to-do list and you've got like an L one here and a wand. And that is really cute so that you can plan out your week if you are a paper person. I did just get a, um, whatchamacallit, a planner for my tablet. So, but this, this will be good. You know, it, it, it still can be useful. I do like it. It's really cute. It's And it's a useful item. It's not just all... A lot of the things that they do are replicas, aside from the mug. But uh, I believe there was a tote last time, too. Ooh, so we got this little pamphlet here. It says, Winterdale University of Magic. Oh, my gosh. So we're getting more universal, like, university-type things because we got, like, a diploma last time. And look at the stamp. And I love how that it's not actually sealed down, so you don't even have to worry about ruining it. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then, oh, it, it, just the little details. Like, look at, oh my gosh. Okay. Holy moly. So then we've got, it like, it keeps folding out. And it has like, you have like a supply list here. And it just like keeps going. And then on this side, oh my, stars. We got this. Hold on, hold on a second. I am not sure I like my new setting on my camera. So just give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to switch it. It was bothering me. It was getting a little too dark for my taste. Like, look at that. I will try to get, like, some photos of this. But, so we have for our, uh, so it says, Winterdale University of Magic. Dear applicant, thank you for your application to study advanced magic at Winterdale University. We're delighted to inform you that your admissions to the above degree program starting in September 2020 as leading research university in terms of magical studies and advanced magic theories Winterdale University is committed to giving you the best education available. The academic and personal accomplishments you have already achieved within your school and community reflect what we value and respect and expect of our students. Ambition, compassion, and a curious uh, intelligence for the heart of Winterdale University. Your training and fairment tickets are enclosed below. We hope that you see. Oh, we hope to see you on campus for our summer reception program. You will receive a formal invitation for those events, as well as the details to your course in our letter. If you have any inquiries, please con please contact the undergraduate admissions office. Again, warmest congratulations on your admission to the best magic and best magical wishes from all of us at Winterdale University. Sincerely, Stefan Anderson, Director of Admissions. And then you have your Scottdale Scottdale Railroad, I guess your ticket to getting to the school. And then this is a passage from between, I'm assuming, like in Hogsmeade 2. The uh, Hogwarts, but instead it's from Apple Cross to Winterdale. So that is really cool that they include all these little, it's just the little details like, oh, that is so cool. That is adorable. And then on our supply list, we have our wand, essential crystals, casting candles, a cauldron, apothecary, essentials kit, potion ingredients, set of uh, glass vials, a stone, wood, or brass mortar and pedestal weighting scale, divinations, tarot card deck, card reading cloth, a crystal ball, or a scrying device, a ruin set, a telescope, antidote potion set, your books, theory of magic to a guide of the world's archaic world, a history of magic, 
the art of spell casting and rituals there's it, it, it just goes on and on and then on the other side we've got a map of Scotland so that is where the university lies is in Scotland and that is so cool so we've got that right in there this this is what I'm talking about this it like it's oh, it's so detailed I don't even know like how to display this like mm. This is spectacular. It makes me so warm and joyous inside. And that, that, that is that is some detail. And that's what I'm talking about. So this box is pricey, but it is totally worth it. Like the detail that goes in here. Oh, we've got another souvenir shop. It says Castle Wand Wire something. I don't know, but that is cute. I don't want to rip the sticker. What is the goodies inside? Oh, we have postcards. So we have a Phoenix postcard right there. And then the postcard part on the back. That is gorgeous. Then, oh, we've got the Essence of Elphamore. I think that's how you pronounce that. That is cool. And then we've got some kind of Ensnarling Joy. Some kind of plant. That is really cool. Those are gorgeous. I wouldn't want to actually use these as postcards, but it just gives another like magical thing. Those are cool. That I've... and the see and that's like a thing that you would get in the Muggle world at a uh, a souvenir shop. That is mm, mm. this box is phenomenal. Okay, then we do have a book, and I'm assuming this is a notebook, which it is. It is divinations. And I can't pronounce the bottom part of it, but that is a really cool notebook. And then we on the back, we've got a little crystal ball, just like... And then we've got crystals hanging on the pages in some spots. And um, we got a crystal ball there on the bottom. That is what I'm talking about, is like, it's just... It's just the little things. Oh, okay. Ooh, so we have got, oh, is this a brochure? So we've got Castle Wand, the best a magical street in Edinburgh. Oh, so this is in Scotland. So this isn't like Diagon Alley. This is the best magical street in Edinburgh. So they've got a magical shop place in Scotland, which is something that I've always wondered. Okay, so we talk about like Voldemort taking over, but he only ever takes over Britain. He never like takes over anything else where Grindelwald like took over Europe and uh, the to like try to take over the Americas. Like it, it's so much more uh, magical to me. So then we've got the Enchanted Parchment Souvenir Shop, the Wand Maker Shop, uh, the Occult's Place, the potions and elixirs and then you've got like magical sh says magical shops the emissions letter oh this is this <gasps> now i know what this is this is our cheat sheet which i love that they turn it into like it's like a brochure okay so we will look at that last as i didn't really understand most of what i was reading on that list of other things that i have on there enchanted parchments letter writing set and look at that that is gorgeous so then in here oh my god we have got so many little pockets okay so this is just like a little blank envelope oh and then you can like write little letters you've got your little letter paper here right there and then you've got envelopes to send them in you've got like multiple five letters here and probably like 10 sheets of paper or so and that is really cute and then you can like send them that is cute that is another usable item you know if i i find someone special in my life maybe that's who i'll write these little these little notes to i'll write like little love notes or something i don't know that requires me to find somebody but that is really cute i'll leave some of my thoughts for the end because we still got quite a bit left, or a few more things to open along with the cheat sheet. So these are going to be our posters. 
last time I did not show you guys the other poster. It was a, another person who commented on there that I had missed a poster within my box because it was behind. It was like, oh, that is cute. Oh, we've got we've got multiple prints in here, like three. Holy moly. Okay, so here is the first one. Look at that. We've got Choco, Salamander, Ghost Breath, uh, Sugar Pumpkin, Frosty Bites, Flying Cupcakes, Dragon Eggs. Oh, I just love that their detail of like coming up with other wizarding treats and it's tricks and, or sweets and tricks. So that is our magical sweet shop. Oh, that is so cool. Do you see the ghost coming out of that of ghost breaths? Oh, that is adorable. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. Gracious. So here's our second print. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is so shimmery. Like, I'm trying to get you guys to see it without the light glare. But this is... What is the word? Um, I, I Obviously, I see it here. It's written. My brain just cannot function with the word. Um, continents, not continents. You know, the stargazing things, the, like the Big Dipper of the northern sky. So we've got the raven, the sea serpent, hippogriff, the dire wolf, the basilisk. We've got the manticore, the kelpie, the phoenix, and the white stag. That is so cool. Like, can you guys can I get that? Okay, like look at that. That is so cool. And then we got one more print. And then we got another box in here. Ooh. Ooh, so we... excuse me. We've got the Asher Ashborn one. So we've got all this detail on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I'll try to give you guys a close up of that. Of just all of this. And the core is a phoenix feather. And, oh, that wand is gorgeous. Can you see that? That is, whew. What is Ashwood? Phoenix Feather is the core. Uh, powers, Elemental. The wand is 13 and 3 quarters. Weight is 0.375 kilograms. And then, it like I said, it tells all about the wand and the crystallization. Dragon blood. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Ugh, I really want that wand. Really want that wand. Those posters are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, we've got another box wrapped up in this cardboard paper. Oh my gosh, look at this wooden box. And then we've got, it says North 7853. And then on the top, it says Northern Apothecary Potion Kit, a Castle Wand, Edinburgh, Scotland. And then look, it's just, this box is so cute. Oh, look at the inside of all the goodies. We've got Northerners Apothecary. And then it tells us all what's in the kit, but I don't want to read over it at this moment because I want to pull the little dry lavender buds. What? Oh, this smells so good. Is there actual, I don't want to take it apart, but is there actual lavender? You know what? I think there's actually lavender blood uh, buds in here. That is really cute. I don't want to take that apart, but that that is really cute. Oh. Okay, now we got some of these. Oh my goodness. Look at, can you see that? Oh my goodness. Do you see how that shimmers? And those rocks in there? Oh my goodness. It. This is crystallized dragon's blood. That is adorable. Like, oh, that will be such a great piece to put on your collection of your potion shelves. Oh, and then we've got Sleeping Draft Base Formula. Oh, and look at that. So then you've got all these, it looks like Epsom salts, crystals. And then you've got these like dried pieces of some kind of flower in there. That is so cute. So cute. Oh, th this is why I love this company so much. Oh, 
Oh my goodness gracious. So we've got gold butcher's broom leaves. Look at that. Like look at that is so cool. This is simple but this is gorgeous at the same time. Like it's simple but gorgeous. Oh we've got cock cockery cock cock rice eggs. I don't know. Is that how you pronounce that? Cockeries? Cock rice eggs? And then on the top, it looks kind of like a little bit of like a dragon. And then it says, these enchanted eggs will keep their properties and stay fresh for years. Oh, look at that. That is cute. Oh, and you got two eggs in here. Oh, that is so cute. So then on the inside, it has the, what's in this potion list. So we've got the Butcher Leafs, we've got the Crystallized Dragon's Blood Sleeping Draft Base Formula, the Eggs and the Dry Lavender Buds, Essential Kit for Most Common Brews of Potions, and then the, this box! And then you get this box too! Like what? Oh, mm, this box is phenomenal. I don't, I don't know how, how are you supposed to pick your favorite? Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I will list here on the side how much this box cost, um, but, and how much I paid for shipping and whatnot. Like I said, this is coming from France. I'm in the US, so there's that. We also have the little cheat sheet, so it says magical shops, a missions letter, the wand print, the anti venom and potion. Oh, that's what that is. I couldn't read that. I thought that was an R. Anti-venom serum, apothecary potion kit, which we just opened, the consolation, consolation print, sweet and tricks po uh, print, the divination booklet, the letter writing set, the to-do list, notepad, the magical shops, mug, and the postcard set. So we've got 11 different items, but you have like, you have like four or five things within this box itself. So like you're getting more than just that. And the inside here we've got the it listing of uh, the magical university letter and you've got your supply list, your map of Scotland, your train and ferry tickets, your wand shop, you've got this beautiful print of the Ashbourne wand print and then and, and just like unfolds. Then we've got the Storm Crows Potion and Elixirs Venom and Venom Antidotes for most potent and deadly serpent beasts anti venom potion presented in this beautiful velvet box. It was beautiful. This is essential for all magical zoologists, which we're graduates of magical zoology. If you did, if you got the last box, and this will protect them from dragon or sea serpent bites. And then we've got the Apothecary Potion Kit, like I said, and it, you get the two eggs, you get a vial of crystallization blood, you get a bottle of the gold butcher's broom leaves, you get a pouch of dra a lavender buds, and a vial of sleeping draft base formula. We've got the Consolation Print for Northern the Northern Skies, then you've got the Sweet and Tricks Magical Treat Print. And then in the back, we've got the Divinations Notebook for the, from the Occult Shop. Then we have the Enchanted Parchments. Oh, do, it comes with stamps? It comes with stamps. See, this is what I'm talking about. You miss things if you don't go over the cheat sheet. I got them all out. So we've got this print from last time in a stamp form. Then we have the Hippogriff which we had on the mug from last time. Then it looks like we've got this like, I don't know, I don't know what you would call this little one. And then we've got the dragon eggs print that we got last time in stamp form as well. And then you got the spell, a uh, spells. I wonder if that's gonna be for next time. That would be cool. So I didn't even notice that. That, that makes that even more, a little bit more magical. And then you got your to-do list notepad for writing down your goals and tasks for the day. Then we've got our souvenir shop, the magical mug, 
And then we've got the postcard set, which again was adorable. I love that too. And then we're back to the beginning. And what was inside the here was this little apology note, which pretty much says that the Phoenix stamp was not able to be included. Oh, was there supposed to be in the stationery set? Oh, yes. And there was supposed to be a Phoenix stamp that you also got with this writing set. So this is just an apology saying that they weren't able to get the Phoenix stamps in the box for whatever the reason. I don't know if they'll send that out later or if they'll send out a coupon or something for you to be able to add it into your next box or something like that or your next order. But I thought that was a really fun, exciting box. I love that their little cheat sheet is like a pamphlet for another magical area. Now, what is my favorite item in the box? Mmm, that is a hard one because there were so many great things because these postcards were fantastic as well. Ugh, I'm in between. I loved the posters, but this wand one right here and this whole magical set was phenomenal to me. I think those are my two favorites because I think if I went with a person who actually makes personalized wands, this will be a good example of my personal wand along with, I mean, like, can you guys tell that I like magical things? We've got jewels in this one and this is my favorite wand I own. And then we've got like, it's like, looks like a crystal. Oh, that is gorgeous. My least favorite item in the bo a box I think just has to be the divination notebook because I don't I like the notebook I just wish it was filled with like some divination type things on the inside kind of like in their magical creatures box that they, they had like a little pamphlet that had all the magical creatures that were featured in the box and a little description about them that would have been cooler to me than a notebook but at the same time, this could be good to put on my shelf or like take photos of. So there's that. It's not like the worst thing to get in a box. It's not like, oh, I'm devastated. I wish they wouldn't have included it. But that is that. So we got a lot of magical things. I would love to know your thoughts on this magical box down in the description below. What was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Is this box worth trying out? Is it one of your favorites because I know it's one of mine like that. It, can, just this alone is like phenomenal. Like I'm blown away. I love Mist and Magic. It's one of my absolute favorite boxes. Oh, I don't know if it could get any better. I don't know if it can. Like mm, this is a, this is one of the most magical Magic. I'm gonna have to come up with another word for like most phenomenal. I don't know. It was fantastic. Oh. I can't wait to have a place of my own to be able to hang up and display all of these prints from this box because mm, let me tell you, that will be dope. If you want to see more content from me, make sure you uh, check out my Patreon because I do do more exclusive content for my Patreons. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Like I said, all of those things will help support the channel. So if you want to see more of my face around YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.